Putin narrowly avoided Ukrainian kamikaze drone attack. A Ukrainian Lyuti long-range drone hit a Russian helicopter base in the Adler district of Sochi on its second combat flight just one day after Russian leader Vladimir Putin had met with Kazakh President Kasim Yomart Tokayev there. Ukrainska Pravda reported this. On the 1st of October 2023, a helicopter base that served Putin's residence, among other sites, came under attack from the Lyuti. We hit the helicopter landing site and damaged several helicopters. But we didn't know at first that the day before we hit Adler, Putin had met with Tokayev there. Putin was 12 kilometers away from where the Lyuti's second strike took place. This was confirmed to us later, intelligence sources told Ukrainska Pravda. To be honest, no one believed in this drone. It is healthy. It can be seen on radars. At that time, the Russians had already shot down our Bayraktars, so there was very little faith in their development, made from scratch without experience. And after they almost hit their own command, then many simply waved their hands at this project, recalls with a smile a member of the Council's Defence Committee who is familiar with the course of those tests. At the same time, the Russians did not even know what had hit them. When it struck Sochi, they assumed it had come from a ship or from the mountains in Georgia. They had no idea it had come from Ukraine. And then all of a sudden, it hit St. Petersburg, practically the opposite end of the country. This was evidently a shock for them, a person involved in the launches recalled in a conversation with Ukrainska Pravda. After the failure of the tests, the story of the currently most successful Ukrainian kamikaze drone could have ended before it had even begun. But the developers did not give up. Neither their colleagues nor the military command believed in their project. However, they carried out their plan in their heads, created the first prototypes with their own money, taught it to fly, and almost managed to launch it into an attack. They simply could not give up at this last stage. The Ukrainian kamikaze project got its biggest boost after Russia started launching Iranian Shaheds. When the first lawn mowers hit Ukrainian energy and infrastructure, it became obvious to the military that something had to be done in response. Putin replaced Shoigu from Defense Minister position to support protracted war in Ukraine. ISW. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, believes that Russian leader Vladimir Putin is making replacements, including in the Russian Defense Ministry, to step up preparations for a protracted war in Ukraine and possibly preparing for a future confrontation with NATO. Putin replaced Sergei Shoigu with Andrei Belusov as the Russian Defense Minister on the 12th of May, transferring Shoigu to the position of Secretary of Russia's Security Council to replace Nikolai Patrushev. ISW believes that these high-level reshuffles following the presidential elections in Russia convincingly indicate that Putin is taking significant steps toward mobilizing the Russian economy and defense industrial base to support a protracted war in Ukraine and possibly prepare for a future confrontation with NATO. The ISW added that Belusov's nearly decade-long tenure as an economy minister in the Russian government and his recent involvement in managing various innovative domestic defense industry and drone projects has prepared him well to lead the Russian Defense Ministry apparatus, which is currently in a challenging position. Belusov has a stronger reputation for being an effective technocrat, and insider sources have claimed that he has a positive relationship with Putin, the report stated. The ISW added that replacing Shoigu with Patrushev as the Secretary of the Security Council aligns with Putin's overall policy of quietly displacing high-ranking security officials by giving them peripheral roles in the Russian security sphere instead of simply dismissing them. The ISW noted that previously Putin similarly sidelined his underperforming generals by appointing them to peripheral security and defense related positions outside the direct chain of command, sometimes allowing them to redeem themselves and return to Putin's favor. In addition to Patrushev's dismissal, Putin mostly reshuffled the heads of the major Russian security services, indicating that he retains a, co a core of loyal security officials.